What is going on fellow farmers? Welcome back to another beginner's guide tutorial with your boy CJ Farms. Today guys we're going to be uh, on part 10 and this really is part 10 this time because in the last one I said it was part 10 but it was part 9. Today guys we're going to be learning how to manage your cattle and just so you guys know I am by no means at all a professional at Farm Simulator 19 or how to manage cattle. I am just simply showing you what I know about managing cattle okay. <clears throat> guys excuse me subscribe to the channel here if you haven't already and smash that like button for me as i greatly appreciate it and when you hit that like button guys uh youtube rates the video a bit higher and puts it out there for more people to see with that being said guys we're going to get on with this and i've got a few things already ready to go. i've got actually got everything ready to go i believe i don't think i missed anything all right guys so what you are going to need first and foremost is you are going to need a cow pasture okay or a cow husbandry however you want to say it now you're going to find this by going to the store you're going to go over to placeables and go to animal pens. And then right here is the two cow pastures that you can pick from. Um, we will eventually get into horse and sheep as well and pigs. Um, and I'm also going to be doing some global company tutorials, guys. So with that being said, pick one of these right here, guys, whichever one you want. There's not much difference. This is the one that I have right here. Um, and then here is your large cow pasture. There is a little bit of a difference in size. Um as far as like the quantity of how many cows it can hold i think the small one um the small one holds 50 the big one holds 200 cattle so uh there you go guys so what we're going to do is the first thing we need to do is we need to get some cattle in here there's several different ways to feed your cattle okay uh, but the first thing we need to do is actually get some cattle in here um so we're going to actually go over the basics of the cow husbandry before we purchase cattle now Right here, guys, this is going to be your straw input trigger where you where you put your straw into the cow husbandry. Uh, over to this side right here is your water intake. All right. And then over here is your um, your animal dialogue trigger right here. That's where you open up to buy cows. This right here is your troughs for your cattle, guys, to feed out of your silage uh, uh, triggers and all that. Um, I mean, your intake, I'm sorry, your silage intake or grass, where you want to put in there. Uh, this right here is where you get your milk from when the cattle produce it. And then this over here, guys, is where your manure or your poo-poo comes out, all right? Uh, and, of course, we have the slurry right here. Uh, now, with that being said, we're going to walk back around, okay? And I'm going to show you what we have as far as tools go. Now, right here, guys, we have... Um, now, you don't really need all the tractors that I've got. I'm just doing it for the sake of this tutorial, um, but right here, guys, this is going to be for the water for your cattle, okay? So what you're going to do is go to the store. You're going to go over to tools, and you're going to go over to, I believe it's tools. You're going to go to animals, okay? And you're going to find that trailer right here. Uh, it will only hold water. It only holds water. <clears throat> it's, it holds 7,300 liters of water, as you can see. Um, that's the only thing it holds. And then if you back back out, and then we're going to go over to uh, this trigger right here. This is going to be our straw um, intake machine, which actually puts straw into the cow pasture. You go into the store, guys. Go back over to tools. Go to animals, and you're going to find that machine. Uh, it's going to be uh, right here. I do recommend using this one as it's a bit easier to use. Um, this is the one I use all the time. Uh, however, you can use these right here. But just keep in mind, guys, when you use these, you will have to have a bell fork uh, to operate them. So this one right here is specifically for a skid steer, which is what the SSL stands for, okay? Skid steer loader. <clears throat> the second one, guys, is for a front loader. And the last one here is for a telehandler. So you can use these straw input machines. Uh, however, just make sure that you have the proper equipment to run the specific machine that you're getting. So for this, you have to have a, a skid steer, front loader, and then a telehandler. <clears throat> I'm sorry, guys. I feel like I have a frog in my throat. Uh, but like I said, guys, this is the one I use right here. I do recommend using this one. Uh, we're going to go back. Uh, and while we're in here, guys, uh, actually, we'll go back out. I'll show you each, each thing one at a time. We're going to go over here. This is going to be our uh, silage machine or your TMR machine right here, which is what feeds the cattle. Go back into the store, guys, and go to animals. You're going to find that Silo King right there. Here, ladies and gentlemen, this is what I'm using right here. This can hold uh, silage, it can hold straw, it can hold uh, grass, it can hold total mixed ration, and which will be a totally separate video. I will do a, another video on TMR or total mixed ration. Uh, with that being said, guys, uh, this holds uh, 16,000 liters, okay? 16,000 liters. And then if we walk over here, we've got our milk trailer. You go back into the store, guys, go to animals, 
and your milk trailer is going to be over here. Now you've got two trailers right here you can choose from. Both carry milk and water. Uh, this one right here is specifically for a tractor. This one is for a semi-trailer attachment, okay? So uh, this is the one I do recommend using as it doesn't take up that much room. It carries less, but it doesn't take up as much room. Now this one right here takes up more room, but it carries more. All right, where this one holds 32,000 liters of milk and water, this one only holds 8,000 liters of milk and water, okay? With that being said, we're going to back back out. You're going to need a tail handler with a bell fork. You will definitely need a bell fork this time, not a pallet fork like I said in the last tutorial. All right, guys, so with that being said, we are going to walk over to our uh, husbandry right here. I hope I'm not forgetting anything. And you're just going to walk in here, guys and you are going to click the R to open up the animal dialogue. All right, now this is gonna be your cattle. Now there's two ways you can deliver, you can have your cattle put into your husbandry. One, you could do it this way at the cow husbandry, or to make it cheaper on yourself, you can go down to the animal dealer and haul them in uh, manually. Now I'll explain that in just a minute on how it's cheaper. Now if I take these cattle guys and I start moving these over, we're gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now, if you notice, this a total of twenty-five thousand dollars, twenty-five hundred each for each cow. But there's also a fee right here of two thousand dollars. That is simply a transportation fee. Okay. Um, so what that means is you're just instead of transporting them yourself, you're walking out to the cow husbandry and buying them. Now, if you want to avoid this fee right here, okay. If you want to avoid this fee, you can go down to the animal dealer, and I'll show you that in just a minute, and uh, buy your cattle that way and avoid. Um, this fee, which is what we're going to do. So I'm going to back out. So once you get all the cows in here, you want guys, just click confirm and your cows will appear in the husbandry. Now, to avoid that fee, this is how we're going to do it, okay? Um, actually, you know what? We'll go ahead and put these in. We'll put in 10 cattle because it holds, what What I say, 50? So we'll put in the 10 cattle. So hit confirm. And then if you walk over, guys, you will see that your cattle are in. Now, we got all brown cows. Brown cow, brown cow. You ever heard that? Um, it's, it's a joke, but anyway... <clears throat> there is the brown cows right there guys now we're going to go over to uh the the tractor i have set up right here um this is at the animal dealer now you're going to do the same thing you're going to press r to open up the dialogue and you're going to go down to the cattle okay now this time we're going to get some black and white cattle uh so if i go one two three four five six seven and that will tell me when my trailer is full. Now, we'll tell you where to get this trailer. We're going to back out of this room. So the trailer I've got right here, guys, if you go into the store, and then uh, I believe it is in, let me see if it's in animals. No, it is in animal transport. Sorry about that, guys. Under tools and animal transport. Uh, here is your trailers right here. This one right here will hold uh, six cattle, uh, nine pigs, and 10 sheep. This one right here holds uh, 14 cattle and 21 pigs uh, and 24 sheep. This one holds uh, 12 cows, 36 pigs, and 38 sheep. Um, I do recommend getting this one right here, or you can get any, any one you want, but these both are semi-attachments. Just bear that in mind. This one over here is strictly for horses only, okay? So this one right here is the one I'm using. Um, it is $24,000. Uh, if you guys need some extra money for this tutorial, I'll link my video right now taking you to my tutorial on, on how to install the money tool. I will show you how it works. If you hit Control, Alt, and Zero, it adds a million dollars to your account just like that. Now, getting back to the animals, guys. We're going to hit R to go into the animal dialog. All right. And then we will scroll down. And we're going to go back to the black and white cows. All right. So if I start clicking these, it's going to tell me when my trailer is full. If I go like this. Okay. And then the livestock trailer is full. So we're going to click OK. Click Confirm. And the cattle are now in the trailer. Now, if I open that, you guys are going to see the cattle in there. See that? All right. So, with that being said, oh, when you lift it up, we are going to take, I'm going to turn my head up just a little bit, guys. We are going to take our cattle back over to the farm. And uh, this avoids, guys, if you notice, when I had those, tra those uh, cows in there, when I put them in the trailer, it avoided that $2,000 fee. Um, so, it's just, it's just a cheaper way if you want to save on that $2,000. It is a cheaper way of transporting your cattle. I'm going to show you guys how to put these into your husbandry. We're going to go up here. You are going to want to pull into where we went to the animal dialogue to the husbandry, which is right here. All right. Now, when you pull in, let me back up just a little bit. Cut my chapter off. Go ahead and hit the R to open up the animal dialogue. And then all you have to do 
all you have to do, uh, that's the farm. So you're going to be on the left side where it says uh, says your trailer right there, Betty Mark RDS 7500. You're just going to click move, 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 and then click confirm. And it is now put the cattle, as you guys can see, they're gone. The cattle are now inside of the husbandry. We're actually going to get some water. All right, this water right here, guys, I showed you where to get it at. Uh, the water tank. There's also a water tank placeable that I put down right here, in which you can drive up next to it and fill up your water tank. You're going to go to your store, guys. You're going to go over to placeables, and you're going to go to miscellaneous. And there is your water station right there, guys. You're just going to grab it, and you're going to bring it into your land right here, and you're just going to, uh, just for the sake of the tour, I'm going to plop it down here for you guys. You're just going to plop it down like that right there. And you just drive up next to it pretty much and buy your uh, get your water and your trailer. Doesn't cost you anything to get the water. It's completely free. So, uh, with that being said, you're going to get this tractor right here, guys. We're going to put the water in first. And what you want to do, guys, is you want to drive up to that water trough. All right. And I'm going to leave the help window on for the sake of the tutorial um, and for you guys as well. We're going to drive this into the water trough. And you will see right there, uh, for keyboard users, it is actually I to put the water in. Let's go ahead and cut the engine off. And if you'll watch and listen, you will hear the water. And you'll see it. See it there, guys, it's filling up. So the water is filling up. It does drain the, this water tank in particular pretty fast, as you can see. It takes the water down pretty quickly. So while that's filling up, it's going to fill up all the way. But it is going to take all the water I have. Now, for some reason, you need more water, guys. I'm going to show you how to fill up your tank. All you're going to do is you're going to take your tractor and your trailer you're going to drive up next to this uh, water tank that I just showed you guys. And you'll see a thing pop up that says start filling. You're going to click that. It's going to fill up your water for you. All right, but they have plenty of water as of right now. So we'll just let that fill up. That is filling the water up. We have to go into here. We have to go to animals uh, right here in the, the start menu. And you're going to see the productivity right here. Uh, cleanliness is 100%, which means there's nothing on the ground, no food or anything like that. The water is at 7,299 liters. That's how much water they have. Uh, right down here is going to be how much straw you have. Total mixed ration, hay, silage, and then grass right here, guys. This is your productivity meter. Now, the reproduction rate right here, guys, um, you have uh, a new cattle uh, every 100 hours, I believe it is. And we'll know that once we start feeding them. But, but I believe it's every 100 hours you get a new cattle. All right. And this will tell you the exact time when you get another, uh, for the next cattle. Um I'm sorry, this will tell you how long you have for a, another cattle to be in the pen. This will tell you when the next cattle is going to be in here. Uh, this is for your manure, how much manure you have, how much slurry, and how much milk you have, okay? Uh, with that being said, we're going to exit out of this. If you go down to the, book, the black and white cows, it's the same exact thing pretty much. Uh, same productivity from both types of cattle. Let's exit out of that. And then we are going to go ahead and start feeding these cattle. Now, if I... Go over here, and I grab, uh, we're going to grab the Silo King, all right? Actually, you know what we're going to do first? We're going to grab our Telehandler, and I'm going to show you guys. We can grab our Telehandler, and we're going to go to the back, and I'm going to show you guys that when you grab grass, you grab these grass bales, that the grass bales um, will just, you can just drop them in, and they will disappear and go into the trough as food. Now, anything that comes back out of the trough, as far as like messiness goes, it always comes out and goes back in as silage, okay? So keep that in mind. We're going to grab this right here. And we are going to take this over. I'm going to show you guys. You can just drop this down. and uh, But it has to be grass bales. Keep that in mind. It has to be grass bales to put back here. So we are going to just kind of uh, drop this down right here. And you'll see it disappear. And if you get out, you will notice there is a little bit of food in the trough right there, okay? So just keep that in mind. You can do grass bales as well if you don't have any silage. Um, and we are going to back this up. We're going to take this back over here. Um, and then we are going to grab the uh, Silo King. And I will show you that as well. Let's jump out. Uh, so if we go over here, and uh, I do not have any TMR made at the moment. We are going to use silage instead. Uh, but you guys get the gist of it. Uh, it all works the same with TMR, silage, straw, grass, everything. So we're going to pull up. All right. And when you pull up, make sure the side that you have is open to feed the cattle. And what I mean by that is if you hit the U in your, if you look up in your uh, help menu, if you hit the U key, it changes the side in which the silo, the silo king is going to dump out. We want the right side so it comes out of the right side. 
it's going to start feeding your cattle just like that all right and it's going to take every bit of the silage guys trust me you may think that's a lot and it is it's a lot of silage but these cattle you know when you have a lot of cattle like we just put in it requires a lot so just keep in mind the more cattle you have the more it takes to manage them okay i normally keep around 15 to 20 cattle uh something like that and now if we go back to the menu guys you will now see that we have 15,999 liters of hay and silage, which is what we just put in. We have 4,000 liters of grass, which we put one of those in. A total mix ration is the same thing. You put in your total mix ration, it's gonna start going up. Now keep in mind, the red indicators just means that you are low on that specific food type, okay? It doesn't mean your cows are dying. It doesn't mean they're gonna, they're gonna die off or anything like that. It just means you're low. So just, just kind of keep that in mind and watch these meters uh, because it is very important because this is your percentage on your food cleanliness water straw all that good stuff this is your productivity which you'll see go up once i push up the time okay so we're going to go back out and now what we're going to do next guys we're going to go over here and i'm going to show you how this machine works right here we're going to jump in and again guys you want to take this machine and we're want to we're going to want to put it into uh, and keep in mind guys the pipe for this machine is on the right side of it if you guys can see it right there um, I will show you what I'm talking about. This is the pipe right here, and you want to make sure that's on, towards the inside of the uh, cow husbandry, okay? Because if you've got to aim it out, it's not going to do you any good. It's just going to shoot out on the ground, okay? So you want to make sure that pipe is aimed in. You're going to pull it into about right here, all right? And it's not asking us to feed anything yet because there is nothing in this trailer. So what we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and shut that off. And we're going to go back, and this is where our straw is going to come in handy, guys. Remember, straw only in this uh, straw intake machine, okay? Straw only. No grass, no hay. Straw only, okay? All right, so we're going to grab one of these straw bells right here. I'm going to try to actually grab two of these at once. Did we get it? We, we got it. We got it. Okay, so you want to take these, if I can get both of these in there, and we're going to raise this up. And we're going to try to get these in. Now, this is what I love about tail handlers because it has a reach like that. See? Now, you're just going to dump these over into the trailer if I can get them in there. I mean, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on. A lot of times, if you go down and pull back up, they will drop right in. Now, don't worry about the hay, the, the straw being right there. Uh, it not being down the trailer is not going to make a difference. But even though it bugs me, it's my OCD telling me to push it down in there. It's not going to make a difference. Now, what you got to do next, guys, we're going to put this back down. We're going to put this down, and we're going to park that. Now, we're going to get in this machine right here, in this tractor. And now, if you'll notice, it is going to tell you to feed your cattle, okay? So you're going to hit the I. It is going to start spitting straw out, okay, just like that. Um, and there is a way to, if you guys will notice, um, there is a, uh, if you can do like that, there is a way to adjust the arm just like that you can pull the arm up and you can pull it down okay so it's going to put all that straw in there and if you guys will also notice when the straw is going in uh let me put the other bell in there real quick all right if you will watch as the straw is going in you will notice that the straw starts expanding into the husbandry see that how it's expanding that is your straw going into the uh, cow husbandry and uh, making your cattle very very happy okay but you always want to make sure that productivity is is kind of up there in the numbers a little bit all right let's put take this up and we are going to put these right in here like i said if they get stuck guys push it down and pull it up it usually does the trick there we go back this up and park it right there and then we're going to hop back in it's going to put more straw into the husbandry and the more straw you put in uh the more it expands the fuller it'll get but it will tell you when it's maxed out just like it will tell you when the water's maxed out, when the silage is maxed out, the TMR. It will tell you when it's had enough, okay? If the machine stops working, guys, if it just quits all of a sudden and you still have straw left in the machine, then you will know that your cow pasture is full on straw, okay? So I think that, um, oh, I did not mean to do that. So as you guys can see, uh, we have, oh, we still have a bell of straw left, which means that you cannot put any more straw. If you try, it will tell you no more capacity for straw, okay? Uh, with that being said, let's go back over to, um, let's see what we got here. So we're going to put in some more silage, guys. Let me hop back in my tractor here. And uh, I am using easy development tools just for, for the 
for the uh, the sake of this tutorial. We're gonna fill the trailer with silage. We're gonna exit out. We're gonna put some more silage into the um, into this cow husbandry. And this is going to make the productivity productivity. I cannot say that word. It's gonna make the productivity go way up. We're gonna go ahead and feed them. We're gonna shut that down. As you guys can see, it is filling that trough up pretty good. And you'll see it expanding as well, guys. So uh, it's pretty cool, man. Like, there's not really a lot to managing cows, but that really depends on how many cattle you have. Now, if you get like a cow husbandry and you put 200 cows in there, then you're not going to have time for farming. I'm just telling you right now. <laughs> you're not going to have any time for it. We're going to go ahead and we're going to fill it up again uh, with silage. Um, let me go back and fill it up with silage, exit out of that, and let's go ahead and finish filling it up. Um, but yeah, I'm using easy development commands, guys. Uh, it's actually an awesome little mod. Uh, you can do all kinds of sort of stuff with that. That'll be another tutorial. I'll show you guys how all that works uh, in, in a separate tutorial. The, while that's filling up, guys, let's go ahead and go back into our animal menu. And uh, as you can see right here, uh, we now have 47 thousand uh almost forty eight thousand liters of hay and silage in the uh cow trough okay uh straw is great water is great cleanliness is great uh now the productivity has not taken place yet because we have not um we have not sped up the time so let me get this out of the way right, let me get this out of the way and i'm just going to back this up again all right, so it looks like they have a lot of silage, which is a good thing. But like I said, guys, you can also put forage in there. You can put uh, total mixed ration. You can put, you know, uh, straw on the other side, hay. Um, let me get, uh, let me just turn on my, uh, this is going to be super unrealistic. Uh, but I'm going to turn on my, uh, let me go this way, go over here. And I'm going to turn on my super strength <laughs> to just put a couple grass bales in here for you guys real quick. Okay, so we're going to pick them up. And we're going to bring them over here, and it will just disappear as you put it in there just like that. Uh, but that's what that easy development tool is good for. It's good for stuff like this. There's another one. And when it's had enough, guys, like I said, it will not take any more at all, okay? But there's another one. You can, you know, like I said, guys, you can mix it with forage, silage, TMR, grass, hay, straw, all that good stuff, okay? Let me, let me do one more. I'm glad I got as many as I got because it is taking a lot. All right, so that's going to be plenty right there now. Um, to get into the productivity part, guys, we are going to speed up the time here. Now let me go ahead and speed up my time. We're going to take it around just a couple of days. Uh, open up the animal dialogue, as you guys can see, 77% productivity, and it is, uh, it's actually going down and up. Um, but as you guys can see, you have, let's go ahead and slow that time back down. I'm going to, once it hits, uh, once it hits noon, I'll stop it. There we go. Went a little bit past it, but let's go back in the menu. Now, as you guys can see, reproduction rate is 170 hours and 45 minutes. Now, what that means is that's how long you have uh, for another cattle, okay? Next animal will be available in 119 hours. Now, this is in game hours, not real-time hours. Keep that in mind, okay? You, we now have 6,399 liters of manure. We have 8,041 liters of slurry. And we have 3,589 liters of milk, okay? And we'll go into slurry tanks, guys. We're just going to purchase this one right here real quick. We're just going to get this one. All right, we'll grab that one. And then I still, okay, so manure spreaders, guys, going to be in our tools. And manure spreaders right there. So we're just going to grab this one real quick. All right. And I'm going to show you guys, and there's one more thing I need to get. We're going to have to get a bucket. Now, we are using a telehandler, okay? So make sure if, if you're using a telehandler and you get a bucket for it, go under tools and go under telehandlers. If you get a front loader bucket, skid steer, or a wheel loader, it's not going to work with the telehandler, okay? It has to be telehandler equipment, okay? So we're going to go ahead and we're going to grab um, we're going to grab this big bucket right here, okay? We're going to grab that big shovel. So if you guys notice, when you back into that spot, it will give you an option to start filling, okay? You just go ahead and start filling it up. It will give you the option for slurry. And you hit, just hit it. It's going to fill up your slurry. And there it goes right there. There we go. There we go. Okay. So, uh, now, if you want to turn on the slurry, this is what it's going to look like, guys. Like I said, it is just, um, it's just an organic fertilizer. So, turn on this kind of what it looks like right there. All right. And then uh, let's go ahead and hook from that. We're gonna go over here and grab our manure spreader. And I'm gonna show you how to get the manure into the into the uh, manure spreader. Which, like I said, I don't use slurry 
I don't use manure spreaders. Um, oh, we got it. There we go. All right, now we're just going to pull this trailer over here. All right. And we're just going to park it, say, like right there, okay? And then we're going to jump back into our telehandler. And we're going to go in here and get a scoop of poop. <laughs> All right. And uh, so you just want to put your bucket down like that. And you're just going to grab a little bit of doo doo, put it in there like that. You got a bucket full. You're going to bring it back. And we're going to put, we're going to tip this over into the trailer. Um, God, I love these tail handlers. I really love them. Ooh, man. You got to watch, guys. These things will tip on you. They are no jokes. We're going to go down like this. And we are going to. I don't want to dump no poopy on the ground, even though it would make the grass grow. Technically, you just spilled over in there like that, guys. Just like that. It's going to be a pretty good bucket full. So, there you go, guys. There's your manure in your trailer. Let's bring it back down. And I just about flipped that. All right. And there it is, guys. There's your manure spreader. Now, if you jump into your manure spreader like this, we're going to start it up. Uh, we're going to unfold it. And then this is kind of what it looks like right here when you turn it on. That's what it's going to do right there, ladies and gentlemen. Okay. So now we got some uh, crap on our grass. We got crap on our grass. We're going to cut that off. Um, but that's pretty much it with that part, guys. Now, this is where you're going to get your milk. And if you guys will also notice, let me show you that. I'll show you that in a minute. Um, if you hit the R, okay, it's going to bring up your uh, dialogue here for your milk. You will see that your cow pasture holds a total of 800,000 liters of milk, okay? This particular trailer only holds 3,500 uh, liters of milk. Well, 3,589, except to be exact. You hit start. It's going to fill it. There it goes. And you have the milk. All right, it's in your trailer. Now, if you go over here, guys, you will also notice that there is now a mess, okay? And if we go back into the animal dialogue, all right, you will now see that your cleanliness is at 0%, okay, which means you need to clean that up. Now, keep in mind that whatever you put back into the trough, okay, whatever you put back in there is going to be silage. So no matter if it's grass that's dumped out here by the cattle or whatever it may be, it always goes back in as silage, okay? So let's grab our telehandler. Uh, because that is going to be what we need with that bucket, as a matter of fact. And we're going to take this around to the other side. I love first person on this game. I really, really do. And you're just going to go up here, guys. You're going to put the bucket down like this. Right, and we're going to start cleaning up our... Oh, oh, and I did not mean to lift it up. Sorry about that. Let me get my camera out a little bit. So we're going to put it down. Let's try this one more time. We're going to put our bucket down. And as you go, you'll see the mess will just start, it'll just start cleaning it up. All right, and once you get in the bucket, guys, you're gonna go over here. You're just gonna bring it back into the, uh, the cow husbandry. You're gonna dump it back over into the trough. Just like that, I hope I got everything. All right, yeah, I didn't want to dump it on the ground. Whoa, man, whoa. Take it easy, brother, take it easy. And then if we go back into our animal dialogue now, uh, the cleanliness is still at 0%, but that means that's because time has not passed by. Now, if we pass the time again, all right, we're going to pass the time again. And go back to Animal Dialogue, you'll see your cleanliness is now going up. Your productivity is up to 76%. So that is a good thing, guys. See how the time is changing rapidly because I have a mod that makes my time. And your food is dropping as well. Keep that in mind, guys. Food's going to drop as time passes by, okay? Let's go ahead and stop that time right there. Um... But let's see, guys. Uh, now, see how the mess is out here again? That's because we passed time by. So, again, you would have to clean up the mess and, uh, you know, put it back in there. And for, don't forget, guys, it always goes back in a silage, okay? I think that's pretty much it for cattle. Uh, like I said, guys, keep them fed, keep them clean, keep them happy, and they will produce uh, your milk for you. And uh, you can make a lot of money from cattle, guys. You make quite, well, not a lot, but, you know, it's, it's pretty profitable. It is. Uh, but, but, you know, keep the straw in there, guys. Keep them uh, fed with water, with silage, hay, grass, uh, TMR, whatever it is that you want to feed them with. And they will produce that milk for you like it is going out of style and slurry and manure. All right, guys, we're going to go back into the animal dialogue right here. Now, if you guys will notice over here and where it says farm, this is where your cattle are right now. This is the husbandry. So the farm, when you pull this up, farm means that is the cow husbandry where your cows currently are. This is cows that you want to buy. These are brand new. Now, you can sell your cattle, right? You can actually sell these. 
uh, for nine hundred dollars. All right, so that's gonna sell. That's gonna sell. That's gonna sell. That's gonna sell. So the more you sell, the more you will uh, earn. So hit confirm, and you have just made. Uh, you know, we have just made twelve thousand dollars, guys. All right, we made twelve thousand dollars. So just keep in mind, you can sell your cattle if you want to. Uh, it's completely up to you. Um, but that is pretty much it for managing cattle, ladies and gentlemen. I don't think there's anything else I need to cover with you. Um, guys, subscribe to the channel here if you haven't already. And smash that like button for me as I would greatly, greatly appreciate it. I will be doing a video on how to make Total Mix Ration. And I will also be going into Global Company Mods. Uh, with that being said, I love you all so much. Until next time, the CJ Forums. And one crop at a time, we are helping America grow. I will see you all in the next video.